10 hours, 10 hour drive. I'm ready for this, pretty sure I'm ready for this. I have never driven more than about three hours before. So this is going to be very interesting. No, I take that back. I went to Nevada once. I went from Phoenix all the way to Las Vegas. So that was like, was it like a four or five hour drive? I don't know, put up some numbers real quick and then we'll, we'll, we'll get going with it. So at about 10 hour drive, it's probably going to destroy me internally. Also probably outwardly as well, but you guys will probably see that as it progresses. So I'm going to be filming this entire experience. And by the title, you already know what the experience I'm talking about is. And I'm extremely excited, but I'm also freaking out at the same time. 10 hours in a car by myself is going to be a crazy feat. And I should probably get going because I'm kind of going a little bit later than I had thought so. So I'm going to go ahead and I will see you guys when we get in the car. My poor poppers doesn't want me to leave. I'm sorry, buddy. I gotta go. Hey, I love you. Poppers. Come here, poppers. Oh, poppers. I'm sorry I gotta go. I'm sorry I get. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. For those of you that are curious right now, I'm currently at coffee with my roommate at like 10 o'clock. <laughs> which means I'm probably going to be getting to Indiana at about 8? 8, 8 a.m.? Somewhere around there. But either way, it's going to be a very long drive. It's going to be very, very late. And it's going to be awesome. Also, I have to be holding the freaking button down in order to record. So that kind of sucks. But regardless of that, I wanted to get this recorded down for all of those of you that follow my Twitter from my YouTube account so that you know exactly where we're at. Because I want to be able to take you guys with me and it's going to be very, very fun, so I hope you're looking forward to it. See you then. So I was planning on making this a little bit sooner, but I am currently in Wisconsin. Just got into Wisconsin. Super awesome, I'm still driving. I promise I'm not looking at the camera or anything like that. I pressed the button and that was it. I am safe driving. Always safe drive. Don't ever be like this and shit. Drive safe if you're driving, especially if you're doing a video and shit like that. But I'm in Wisconsin right now. It is freaking awesome. Just drove over this huge freaking bridge. Uh, that that was oh my god it was it was big and I'm like I'm I'm still like super hyped I've got about eight hours ahead of me and I made a mistake earlier I uh, I had thought that it was a ten hour drive but apparently it's a freaking eleven hour drive so I had an extra hour in there that I had no idea about until I uh, put the directions in on my phone again so I'm gonna go back to uh, get into the directions I got. 226 miles ahead of me before I have to worry about looking at the map again. I'm gonna go ahead and keep on focusing on driving. I'm gonna turn my music back up. I've been blasting the, oh, excuse me. I've been blasting the hell out of it because that's the only thing that's really keeping me awake uh, as well as the energy drinks that I've been drinking. All right, I will talk to you guys soon. So I finally made it to Illinois. I know my camera is all kind of funky right now. I am driving, but like I said before, I am being safe about it. I'm not holding the phone in. I'm not looking at the phone. All I'm doing is clicking a button that's right up there and I know where it is because I've, I've trained myself on where it is. Trust me. Damn it. You know what I'm doing. Okay, whatever. Anyways, I am, oh my God. I got, well, like four and a half hours left. Four and a half hours left of driving and it's going to be Freaking ridiculous, but I'm still excited, even if I am exhausted, 
especially in this hot car that has no AC. I have to roll my windows up every time I do, uh, every time I do a video because otherwise all you guys would hear is wind. And I don't even know if you can hear me very well right now anyway. So regardless of that, I'm gonna be getting off of my exit here in another like 50 miles or so. So I'm gonna be going and I will see you guys very, very soon. This is imperfect, but it's a start I always run head first Oh my god, way too long of a drive So I'll tell you something interesting I had an 11 hour drive The lighting in here is terrible Just ugh, just ugh I had a 10 hour drive and that 10 hour drive consisted of me listening to music the whole time and not doing anything else. Just me, myself, and I. So I'm exhausted. It is, it is day one of the Markiplier journey experience and there is loud people in this hotel. I had to wait for about 40 minutes before I was able to get my hotel because I have a motorcycle back here? Now you don't understand, there's, there's no road back there. I had to wait for about 40 minutes, and it was crazy, and it sucked. Because there were some other dudes that were waiting for their rooms, and they had booked last minute, literally last minute, like 11.59 last minute. I'm exhausted, I'm tired, my butt hurts, I'm sitting on it for 11 hours. More than 11 hours, technically, because I left at like 11 o'clock and I didn't get here until 12. Even though there's like a time difference, it's still like within the same amount of time. So regardless of that, it's just freaking ridiculous. So I'm very, very glad to be here. Uh, I just want to go to bed. I don't want to do anything anymore, ever. Hey, me. Hey, me. Oh God, it's me again. It's actually really nice. This is a really nice room. Huh, I'm to turn this on. Ooh. Gaze at the toilet of knowing. You know, it probably really would have sucked if I had actually, like, I don't know, dropped my $400 camera inside of there. Yeah, it would have sucked pretty bad. So, this is weird. Moving along. It's actually really, really nice. It's a nice room. Can't complain. I like it. I think it's pretty decent. That's all my stuff. Don't worry about it. It's fine. That's my phone. That's my stuff. That's my wallet. That's a backpack. That's my laptop in it. That's my camera bag. That's a tripod. That's that. This. This is my most prized possession. Oh, gaze upon its wonder. Anyways, I'm totally done functioning for tonight. I'm going to bed. And then I'm gonna wake up early in the morning tomorrow. I'm gonna go explore the city. It's going to be fun, except I don't know if it will be. I was expecting it to be much more closely knit in Indianapolis, but I guess it's just like uh, Minneapolis, which is honestly a little bit disappointing. I was I was expecting more, but either way, I'm gonna sign off. So. Keeping in mind. I must keep Doesn't seem to matter To us, I think Oh, you Waited too long To find me I'm better now But it was a hard path. First order of business today Fine food I'm starving and I don't know anything about Indianapolis, so this is going to be interesting. Today, today is the day. Today is the day that I go see Markiplier Live, which is exciting. I'm very, very excited about it. This long drive has been definitely all worth it, and I have decided to wear my very, very old Markiplier. Well, I guess not very, very old. It's from 2016. But, regardless of that, I decided to wear this because it was the oldest uh, charity t-shirt that I have. So, that would be the reason why. But, 
I'm going to get some food. I'm going to look around the town, and you guys will probably join me at some point. But I'm not sure when. So wish me luck out there. It's going to be interesting. Moving along now. All right, guys. We're heading out. Let's go. Have fun watching everything while I illegally cross the street. All right. So, I'm heading to the venue right now. The theater, I should say, because it's a theater. But, uh, it's actually pretty cool. So, I actually got lost on my way here, to be honest with you. It was really, really hard to find the, the theater. I didn't know exactly what I was looking for. But, uh, I found it. There's also a lot of sirens. So for those of you wondering what all the sirens are, that's a thing. So we're coming up on the place now. There was a lot, and I mean a lot, of people there and here to see Markiplier. Like, there's a lot. I'm actually gonna be going over here, and I'm just gonna be sitting. I'm just gonna be chilling the whole time. I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit around waiting until 8 o'clock for the show to go. Um, I got a battery pack so I can watch as much YouTube as I want to until the time comes. It's gonna be a while. Waiting until I can cross the road. <sighs> there's still people that are waiting over by the entrance that we thought was the entrance. Because there's two different sides to the theater. There's stuff that's over there. You guys can't see my hand right now. But there's stuff that's over there where people were waiting before and then there's stuff over here. But there's a VIP entrance right in front of me and that's the entrance that I'm gonna be going through because VIP is I just missed my walk signal because I was trying to explain to you guys. But it's okay. So there's a VIP entrance right in front of us right there actually. That's uh, that's where I'm gonna be going to because I get to get the, uh, I get to get the little Tiny Box Tim backpack actually, which I'm freaking hyped about. Uh, I don't know exactly what's gonna be in it. They said there was gonna be a couple items in it, but I'm I have no idea what's gonna be in it at all. So hopefully it's gonna be really really cool. But uh, we'll see. We'll see exactly how it goes. There's a lot of people here. Like I said, it's actually Gay Pride in Indianapolis right now, so I'm I was surprised. But I want to show you guys uh, the thing that says Markiplier Live. So be ready to see that in just a second. Oh the line but up there see Markiplier Live sold out get back to your original camera okay I'm gonna let you guys go do what you're gonna be doing I'm actually gonna be sitting over off to the side in the shade until 8 o'clock because that's when my show is this is the early show that they added on so it's actually pretty cool Markiplier sold out Oh man, you have no idea how awesome this feels. I'm here at like 3 o'clock and my show doesn't start until 8, so that's interesting enough in itself. I've got about 5 hours, I've got like 5 hours before my show starts. But I think I'm supposed to be here about like an hour before or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, this is awesome, I'm super excited. There's so many people here. I'm gonna show you guys how many people there are here. Hold on. The line starts from there and goes all the way back. That is awesome. That is so cool. So many people and it's just amazing. And I'm so excited for tonight. I have no idea. It's, oh, I'm, I'm finally going to be able to see Mark Blair live. And it was a long journey, 11 hours, 11 hours of driving and then some. It's also Gay Pride here in Indianapolis on the same day, which is awesome. So I got to, I got to see a little bit of that too. One last look.
as leader of the red team. <laughs> Check it out. My hair is crazy. One reason why. I just got out of the shower. Also, just came back from the Markiplier tour. There's cord down there. I don't know why. I'm still in my hotel room and I'm filming this very, very late at night. The show got out late at night. My hair is really crazy. Oh, why? So, besides that whole ordeal, I do have this amazing piece of merch. It's not technically merch because I got it for free. Kind of. Sort of. I paid. VIP, which was extra in order to get into the show. Paid a VIP thing. This is what I got for the VIP, and we got some extra little goodies in here as well. I also paid a lot of money to get all of the merch that was at the merch table, too. We'll get into that in a little bit. I want to see exactly what's in this tiny boat's tail. So, there's a couple things that I got while I went down to Indiana to see Markiplier live, 
And these couple things include this amazing and very beautiful little Tiny Box Tim backpack that you guys may have seen while Mark was doing his live streams, while Amy and Catherine were filling them up. And there were a couple things that actually came inside of the backpack, which I'm about to show you. So the first thing that came inside of the backpack was actually this very, very nice Markiplier uh, thermos, I guess you would call it. Yeah, I would call it a thermos. It's actually really, really cool because it's very, very well made. And I've used it quite a bit, and that's probably really, really loud, I'm sorry. But... I've actually been using it quite a bit since I've gotten back. The next thing we got is this little Markiplier pen. And this actually goes on my little Tiny Box Tim now. Um, not the backpack that I've gotten, but the uh, actual Tiny Box Tim that I got back from the December charity live stream that is currently sitting over off to the side right now, which I have already put the pin onto him quite a few times, but I took it off for just this purpose. It's very, very cool, and I love it immensely. Got the little pin on the back there. You can pin it to anything you'd like, but I pin it to my little tiny box tin. And then, of course, last but not least, who could forget the VIP badge that was inside of the backpack, very surprisingly, because, of course, the backpack was for VIPs. So... I did shell out the extra cash in order to be a VIP to get this backpack with all of the little extra merch that only VIPs got. And I was very, very happy to see that it came with this little beauty that has Markiplier's signature on it. And it's so insanely awesome. And on the back is actually something really, really cool. This art has to be one of my favorite things that I've seen while I was on the tour. And it's actually on another piece of merch that I bought when I got into the show at the merch table. Um, they had quite a few things that you were able to buy. There was only, well, not really quite a few. There was only about three things, but it was still really, really cool regardless. So I think I actually spent a total of uh, nearly 100 to maybe 90 bucks on the merch that was at the merch table. There were two t-shirts and a poster, and the t-shirts were actually really, really cool. They're very, very well made. The art on them is just absolutely amazing. Of course, subscribe to Markiplier had to be a thing. And I, I, I want to say that this is the one that Amy may have designed. I could be extremely wrong on that, and if I am, I'm so terribly sorry. And then, of course, we've got the shirt that I was talking about before. The one with the Markiplier's You're Welcome Tour art. That is on the badge and also on this shirt. Right, this is really, really cool because it is next to one of my favorite colors. Green, of course. But blue is definitely my next favorite. And it is so awesome. I've yet to wear it because I'm very, very afraid of completely ruining it. And I don't want to do that. So I think it's just going to be yet another shirt in my Markiplier merch that's probably just gonna end up being put on the shelf and probably displayed as more of a poster thing now before I get to the uh, the real you know big reveal of the poster which is an, an amazing poster don't get me wrong it is it is seriously the most amazing poster ever and I I absolutely love it but enough about that before we get to that I did want to show you this thing. This is a thing that everybody got when you walked in the doors. And it is a little... I don't really know what you would call this. It's just like a little flappy popsicle stick thingy. I don't know what it is. It's like a little sign. It's like a bid sign thing. But whatever. Me and my stupid unknowing face. Not knowing things. Uh, this was actually used to, uh, you know, differentiate teams. There was, you know, red team, and then there was green team. And I believe from what I remember, I was on the red team. This is a little bit after I've been on the tour, and uh, I'm finally editing it just now. But don't worry about that. You don't need to know. That's behind-the-scenes shit. Um, 
but this is actually really really cool because uh, a lot of people got to participate in the show and that was uh, that was one of the big deals about being able to go there and just absolutely enjoy ourselves at the show was that everyone got to participate whether they got up on the stage or not which of course people did get to go up on the stage and such but being able to participate in even the littlest way made that experience much more lovable and much more immersive so i'm very thankful for that being able to just you know say hey i'm green team let's cheer on for this side and let's cheer for these people but it was really really fun and i enjoyed it a lot drum roll please Okay, honestly, you, you, you probably expected this. Of course, it's gonna be just a blown up, amazing artwork of the Markiplier's Your Welcome Tour. And it is quite simply amazing. <laughs> It's, it's actually a very decent sized poster. Like, it, it's really, really cool. So there it is, the last of the merch. So some closing thoughts that I really wanted to get out really quick. Promise it's not gonna be long. You don't have to listen to me prattle on, on and on about how much I absolutely love the tour because I did. I really, really did. And I realize you guys probably saw me transition into three or four different completely different people in the time that I've been making this video. I'm sorry, I keep looking off to the side because I'm looking to see if I'm still on the camera. I've still not gotten used to this whole camera thing and it's probably gonna be a while before I do that, but hey, you know what? You're along with the journey, so you're gonna have to deal with it. But either way, closing thoughts, I enjoyed it. I had the absolute best time of my entire life and I wouldn't trade it for the world. And I just want to thank everybody that had a hand in doing this. Um, Mark, of course, thank you. Ethan, thank you. Tyler, thank you. Wade, thank you. Bob, thank you. Amy, thank you. Catherine, thank you. And everybody else behind the scenes that I do not know the name of. I'm very sorry. I wish I did know your name because then I would be able to thank you. But unfortunately you're left in the altogether credits but regardless of that just thank you from the bottom of my heart for making this tour a thing and I know the tour is very much long over by now uh, by the time that this video is posted but I, I really really would not trade it for the world it was the absolute time of my life and it, it, it really helped me put things in perspective as far as um, where I want to go in life and what I want to do. It really inspired me to keep on working towards what I want to do. And I aspire to do that every single day now. And I not only have the tour to thank for this, but all you wonderful people that are here supporting me and also me supporting the people that I enjoy watching including all of Mark and his friends and family's channels. So, regardless of that and everything that I've been trying to emotionally spout out, thank you to everyone that managed to sit down and watch this entire thing. And I appreciate it. Now we'll see you guys later. Peace out. is imperfect but it's a start I always run head first fall apart collisions feel